Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show. The WWDC Apple event came and went. Now, I'm going to talk about Apple Intelligence, which is one of the major headlines of this event. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So basically, Apple revealed its plans to incorporate AI into its operating systems at WWDC. That happened, right? It's dubbed Apple Intelligence. This new generative AI system will appear in iOS and iPad 18 and macOS Sequoia in the form of what Apple believes to be practical tools that most people can use regularly. Those features include new writing tools that can help you rewrite, proofread, and summarize things like emails and other messages original emoji and image creation, and more. So going hand-in-hand with original image generation is a new feature called Genmoji, which allows users to create their own unique emojis by typing in descriptions and requirements like T-Rex wearing a tutu on a surfboard. (laughs) So Siri is getting an AI infusion now that it will be powered in part by large language models. In addition to asking Siri to delete an email or edit a photo, users will also be able to ask the virtual assistant to summarize articles and web pages in Safari and even extract personal information from a picture of an ID so it can fill out an online form for them. So the company emphasized the importance of personal context with Apple intelligence, which will be, which will enable things like using natural language to search for photos that contain only specific family members or friends. Apple highlighted how most Apple intelligence actions will be done on device to make the system as privacy focused as possible. For queries that cannot be done locally, the work will be sent to Apple's processing centers. The company also created private cloud compute, which is a feature that's supposed to utilize the cloud for more advanced AI processing while also making sure your data remains secure. So OpenAI's ChatGPT is also integrated into Apple intelligence, allowing users to give Apple permission to share their queries with ChatGPT when it might be helpful, all right? Examples you know, in, you know, include asking for menu ideas that incorporate specific ingredients or asking for decor advice while pro- providing a photo of a space that needs sprucing up. ChatGPT will also work with the AI writing tools coming to iOS and iPad OS 18 in a new Compose feature. ChatGPT integration with iOS 18, iPad OS 18, and macOS Sequoia will roll out later this year, and apparently Apple intends to add support for other AI models in the future, meaning its partnership with OpenAI isn't a long-term exclusive. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Oh, please let me know in the comment section, what about the WWDC intrigued you?